All right, we'll start with some terminal tackle. I got uh, some drop shot hooks, uh, eagle claw. Got some size one, some size twos. Let's go ahead and open them up and take a look at them. Got a really nice light wire hook here. Good and sharp. Yeah, these will be nice uh, this fall when the when I start using the drop shot a lot more with the uh, uh, maybe the trick worms or maybe the uh, smaller finesse worms uh, from Zoom and and that kind of thing. Also got some of these uh, for wacky rigs. Thought I'd try these. Let's take a look at them here. Got these two little. Uh, weed guard things here it's got that it's got that v-bend in the hook there look pretty good Let's see how sharp they are yeah good sharp point on them seem pretty stout for a for a wacky rig hook I haven't been using the wacky rig much this year but uh, but it's always a nice little go-to when nothing else seems to work So got some of these three aught uh, round bend worm hooks. This will be good for some of my uh, slimmer soft plastics, like trick worms or slimmer worms, or like maybe uh, I don't know baby brush hogs or something like that. And also got some three aught EWG worm hooks. Eagle claw, good looking little hook there. It's not really thick. It's not too thin. Just a nice. All around, it's got a little bit of little bit of a bend to it. It's not the most stout hook in the world, but for your basic bass fishing, I think that's uh, that'll work just fine. Yep, nice sticky point. And I got some more quarter ounce uh, swim jig heads, for Strike Kings of the Redfish Magic. Got the got the quarter ounce size. These uh, yeah, these are some really stout uh, jig heads here. Really strong hook on it. Good sticky point. Yep, I really like these things. These things work uh, really well. I got a couple of these things. These are uh, Strike King Ned, little Ned packs. Um, this is the Ned Cutter Worm and this is the Ned Ocho. They are both in the Bama Craw color. So we're gonna take a look at this one. So they each come with a little uh, with two of those, the little Ned jig heads, and five soft plastics. That's a pretty cool color, actually. I think that'll work real well on the, uh, the ponds around here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, they each come with two jig heads and uh, five soft plastics. Cool. Also picked up some of these Ozark Trail uh, uh, lipless crankbaits. Um, it says seven, tick, six, seven sixteenths ounce, so it's about a half ounce each, a little less. Uh, this one's a gold shad, and this one is a doesn't say. This one doesn't say either, but this is this looks like a bluegill type pattern. This one's just a, sort of a blue with a silver, sort of like a silver or a pearlish belly. It's like more silver. And this is just a gold, gold shad. It actually doesn't look too bad, actually. It, uh, it's, it's similar to the red eye shad. Um, these are eagle claw treble hooks, which I'll actually change out to the uh, single inline hooks anyway. But, uh, and I'll put an oval split ring on it because I don't like the round ones. But yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad. I'll have to has a nice rattle to it. It's not too tinny. Actually, the paint looks pretty good too. It's sort of hologram. It was only like a dollar ninety-seven too. That's not bad actually. So I'll be I'll be interested in throwing this and see how it swims. See how the uh, you know the the shimmy is on it. Cool. Anyway, I got three of those. Got three lipless for six bucks. That's like the price of one red eye shad. Speaking of red eye shads, picked up a couple more of those. 
This is the Bleeding Gizzard Shad. This is the Chartreuse Shad. A couple more Red Eye Shads. And the last thing I picked up is a, uh, another Booyah Pop and Pad Crasher because I really like the Booyah Pad Crashers. This is the Leopard Frog color. Nice soft body. Nice stout sharp hooks. I usually trim the legs to about right there. I'll, I'll usually pull them up to about the length of the frog and then I'll just go ahead and cut it off about right there. But uh, yep. Favorite soft uh, hollow body frog is the uh, Blue Owl Pad Crusher. Caught some really nice fish on these. I almost forgot. I uh, got some of these, got some more of the uh, Ozark Trail Shutter Swimmers. I got some in the uh, Bluegill Flash, the Sexy Shad, the Pro Blue Red Pearl, and I got one in the green pumpkin. These are these are basically just like uh, rage swimmers. Um, decent swim bait. Uh, they work really well. Uh, actually, I usually use them on an eighth ounce uh, uh, swim bait jig head or a quarter ounce. It kind of just depends. Um, they're usually good for uh, I don't know two, three, maybe four fish, and then they start getting a little roughed up. Uh, after that, I usually what I'll do is I'll super glue it onto a jig head and then just use it from there until it gets so torn up that I can't use it anymore. Because uh, after a while, you know, being on that uh, jig head where it's held on there, they get a little worn out. But uh, yeah, uh, super affordable. You get five of them for like three bucks. Um, can't beat that.